Stock fans. They're great. It's rad that manufacturers include them with most of the CPUs on the market. You always need a type of cooler on your CPU. Without proper cooling, the heat will cause damage over time and you can have some dead components on your hands. If you're planning on overclocking your CPU, a third-party cooler is a must. The unlocked Intel chips do not come with the stock cooler. Same with several of the Ryzen and Threadripper lineup. You're gonna need some fantastic cooling for such a powerhouse of a CPU. Today, we're taking a look at the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black Edition with the bonus of an RGB fan. And we'll show you how easy it is to install the Hyper 212 fan onto your CPU. Stay tuned. We have the Hyper 212 Black Edition and the Hyper 212 Black Edition RGB. Well, let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so looks like we have a box, which, oh, oh you guessed it, has another box. And in that box, we have all the bits and pieces you need to mount the fan for AMD and Intel. So don't lose anything. All right, let's see what's in this box. All right, we have AMD screws, Intel screws, brackets for Intel and AMD, a bracket for the back that works with both Intel and AMD as well. We have some thermal paste, bam! A fan splitter cable for if you want to add another fan for a push-pull configuration. With the RGB version, you get the RGB controller with a Molex connection for your PSU. This is in case your motherboard doesn't have an RGB header. The big difference between the RGB fan and the black edition is the fan mount. The black RGB edition has plastic mounts for the fan onto the heatsink. And the black edition has the new metal attachment for the fans. Both coolers come with an extra set for installing an additional fan. They really went all in here with the black edition. The copper heat pipes are painted black. The aluminum fins are a gorgeous brushed metal. And of course, the fans are black, sans RGB. It looks like a dark powerhouse of cooling. Let's talk about compatibility. You need to make sure that the cooler will fit on your CPU and inside your case. And since this is such a big boy, that the overhang doesn't interfere with anything on your motherboard, like the RAM, for example. The dimensions of the Hyper 212 Black sit at 120 by 79.6 by 158.8 millimeters. The fan will be nice and quiet in around 6.5 to 26 dBA and have an airflow max of 42 CFM and air pressure of 2.6 millimeters. The Hyper 212 Black Edition works with these AMD CPU sockets. We have the AM4 in there, all the way to FM1. And on the Intel side, it works with 2066, all the way to 1366 socket. And it's rated for processors up to 150 watts TDP. So if you're not sure, check the box for the list of compatible sockets, or for the most up-to-date list, check out Cooler Master's website. And maybe you're hanging around one of our Memory Express locations. You can always ask one of our staff, for any compatibility questions you may have. Today, we're mounting the Hyper 212 into our test bench that's sporting an Intel i7-8700 and using the EVGA Z370 for the Win motherboard. So that means it's sporting an LGA-1151 socket type. Okay, now let's install the Hyper 212 Black Edition. First, let's check out the manual. There's helpful little pictures to walk you through the process. Different instructions depending on the socket type. Feels like Ikea, but no, no little Ikea man. First, let's find the screws and brackets for the right socket. We're looking for the 1150X socket type. We'll find the right screws for the back bracket. Next, we'll slide it into the back of the motherboard. Next, we need to screw in the back plate to the motherboard. It comes with an additional wrench shaped screw to help you install the base screws to the motherboard. And very important, we're going to remove the sticker on the heatsink so it can perform properly. We will remove the fan from the heatsink, screw the bracket onto the cooler, you're almost ready to mount it. Next, we need to apply a pea size of thermal paste onto the CPU. When placing the cooler on the CPU, we want to make it as easy as possible. We're going to start screwing opposite corners and continue to alternate between all four corners until the cooler is locked in. You want to avoid over tightening. Once everything feels secure, you're good to go on to the next step. Next, attach the fan, connect to the four pin fan connector on your motherboard. The included cable has a split for if you do add an extra fan onto the other side of the heatsink. The EVGA for the Win Z370 does not have the right RGB header for the RGB fan. So we're gonna be using the Molex cable to attach the RGB controller to the PSU. And there we go. 
EZPZ. We have the fan installed and ready to keep your gaming cool. Try to say that like Arnold Schwarzenegger from Batman when he was Mr. Freeze. Anyways, if you're looking to upgrade your cooling game, come down to your friendly neighborhood memory express where you yourself can pick up the Hyper 212 Black Edition for $55 Canadian or the RGB edition for $65 Canadian. Don't forget the media team will be at the Calgary Comic Expo. We'll be hanging out, doing some videos on the Comic Expo itself, and we'll be at the MSI booth all weekend. So come on down and say hi. We also have the Victoria Grand Opening event happening this Saturday. The Grand Opening sale at all of our locations. So if you're local to Victoria, you can come on down, and enter for the grand prize of a $2,500 MEPC PC with a liquid cooling gaming PC. But if you can't make it down to BC, don't you worry about it. There's some fantastic prizes to be won online for the grand opening giveaway. So if you're watching this, this means the brand new Saskatoon store has already opened and their doors are ready for you brand new customers. So come on down and build your dream PC. Say hi to all the staff for me. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Facebook and Twitter are the same at Memory Express. Our Instagram is official Memory Express. Don't forget about MEXP where this month we are giving a fantastic prize given to you by our friends at Aver Media, the live streamer Mike. It's easy to win. All you gotta do is comment on all the videos for the month of April. So get on that friends. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Terrifying. But it's cool that you can't, you can't see through it. You can see through it this way, but you can't see through it this way. Science. Oh God, I am learning today.